Hi, my name is Kai Armstrong, and I'm the product manager for the code review group at the Create Stage here at GitLab. And today I want to talk about what the code review group will be up to for the upcoming 14.9 GitLab release. So let me go ahead and share my screen, and we'll walk through just a couple issues today. So the first one I want to start off with is an epic that we've talked about before, and this is about mergeability in uh, merge requests. And so there's a lot of front end and back end logic that goes into determining whether or not a merge request can be merged. And so we've been working on refining that over time. Uh, the back end team is going to get back into this effort, uh, hopefully towards the late end of 14.9. And really, we're working here to um, build a new framework for how we do all of the checks and all of the information that goes into that. And then we'll be porting uh, existing checks into this framework and uh, hoping to improve the reliability of the merge button and making sure that it's active when it's supposed to be, inactive when it's not supposed to be, uh, and that we don't get stuck in states that can cause weird issues with just hanging or no feedback in the UI. So uh, we'll be picking this effort back up in 14.9. It's really important to the central reliability of the merge request. And so we're really excited to get back into this one. Next one I wanna talk about is a new feature. Uh, so this is a uh, design that came out of the design work that we're doing here and we'll be starting the work on this in 14.9. And so when you're doing a merge request review, one of the things that's common is that you create a review, which is a series of comments that aren't published until the very end. And, and oftentimes at the very end of that review, you might wanna leave a wrap up comment that says, hey, thanks for the contribution. I left some points on X, Y, Z. I'm gonna go ahead and improve this and move on, right? And so uh, in the submit review button that's down here in the bottom. We're gonna change this to be a pop-out that gives you this option to comment. And then while you're commenting, you can either just leave a comment or you can go ahead and, and approve that in that comment as well. And so this really expedites the review process here and allows you to submit all your comments, get that final piece of feedback, and then go ahead and approve it and keep the ball moving forward on this. So this will be a nice little enhancement to the merge request review flow. And we're pretty excited about this one. And the last one I wanna talk about is in the editor extension category. And so, um, GitLab has a VS Code extension that we work on for uh, VS Code, and it allows you to interact with GitLab and merge requests and many other things uh, in GitLab with VS Code. We're also starting work on an extension for JetBrains. So we know there's a lot of JetBrains users out there, a lot of people that use those IDEs for uh, the various languages they work in. And so we're, we're going to start working on this, and we're, we're down the path a little bit. We've got some of the bases in line. Um, and so sort of the first thing that's going to happen in it is uh, we'll be able to show you all the issues. And this is just a, a small step on the way as we continue to iterate and build on this. Um, but I just wanted to highlight the progress we're making on JetBrains and know that we know you users are out there and we're excited to, to start working on this for you. So that's what we've got coming up in 14.9. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll put links to these down below the video or you can reach out. Thanks.